Hi everyone, uh, we're here at the Expo Habitat Home Show. We're super lucky to have three different minimalist products here to show you. Uh, we have, of course, the charm uh, that you've been seeing a little before Christmas, the new 2023 uh, charm model. We do have another uh, product, it's called the Mini Cube. Uh, it's an accessory dwelling you can drop off at the back of your property so you can do uh, work from home or uh, art, yoga, whatever you guys uh, want to do. And then we also have a 28 feet version of the Nomad, fully equipped for off-grid um, off use. So super thrilled to show you this version with the galvanized steel trailer. So a lot of stuff, a really nice setup. So let's get to it. That version, like I said, is 28 feet. So uh, four feet longer than the one we presented in previous videos. That one is also a 2023 version. So a couple of upgrades that are also reflected on the 20 or, uh, 24 feet version including that um, galvanized steel trailer. This is standard on all new Nomad models, so galvanized steel all the way through, um, increased durability, longevity. So again, always uh, in the, keeping in mind, we want that product to age well and to be really durable. Uh, other features, you're gonna see that inside the windows uh, kind of change, mostly awning windows throughout the whole house. A uh, couple of upgrades regarding sink and all that. We didn't want to change that layout much because it's really efficient. But again, we went with little upgrades. And then also we have 10.24 kilowatt hour uh, solar package on that one. So we're gonna explain to you how it works and I'm um, gonna show you the setup in general. So let's have a look. All right, so here we are. Uh, mainly the biggest difference uh, between the 24 feet and the 28 feet is definitely the entrance. Um, normally in the 24 feet, um, you know, that dinette is directly when you get inside, but here we have an open space. So that opens up different um, possibilities, whether for this one we have that uh, little seat in the entrance. Uh, some people might as well have a work from home desk right here or simply having more space because a lot of those people uh, buying the Nomad uh, will live directly in the woods. When they come up, they're going to have like mud or snow. They want to have sort of a wet room space in the entrance to put their boots and all that. So a lot of space in the inside. We have those um, hooks by the entrance that also allows having that TV directly in front of either that seat or you can also use that uh, dinette seat in the, in the corner right there. I was talking about that solar package a little earlier. Uh, we're talking about 10.24 kilowatt hour, four bifacial solar panels, 450 watt each. And like bifacial, that means they will catch the sun rays from both sides. So a little more versatility when it comes to uh, where you can uh, place the tiny house. In terms of setup here, uh, like you see, we have a digital control. So right now we see that we're 100% charged. We're inside plug, no surprise here. But here we have um, what is provided by the grid in terms of watts. And then you have uh, the output, the input, uh, the PV charger everything regarding how you're going to use the house will be reflected here. So what, what it means when you're going to be um, living off the grid, so only on solar panels, right now it's plugged. When you're not plugged, you're going to see real time how much energy you're using and also if it's 12 volt or 120 because we now have an inverter uh, that will also provide um, energy directly to the 120 volt appliances and equipment. So you can also see the level of charge, how much you're dragging, of course, when it comes to living off-grid, you need to do um, uh, a smart use of the energy you have because off-grid doesn't mean that you're going to have all the energy necessary. You'll need to choose sometimes uh, in order to maintain the battery level to a certain level, actually. So here we are on the roof of the 28 feet Nomad. Like I said, those are bifacial solar panels. So we have two panels right here oriented towards this side. That one is oriented toward that side and that one towards the front. Of course, the layout of those panels, normally we want to have a versatile setup. So having catching sun rays on all sides, uh, so that way you can install the house pretty much anywhere. But if you're gonna be stationary, it's always better for you to tell us the orientation of the site. So that way we can orient the panels according to your site for a more optimal use. Uh, in terms of angle, like you see right now, we have that 45 degrees angle. We can lower that to 35 depending on the time of the year. Um, normally in this time of the year, in winter, the sun is not really high in the sky. Uh, so that way you want to have uh, panels that are almost flat to get 
as much sun exposure as possible. In summertime, you want those panels to be a little uh, inclined to the back, so that way you can catch the sun because it, it goes higher uh, in the sky. Um, we have two different uh, solar panel system, either that 5.12 kilowatt hour with two panels or 10.24 kilowatt hour with four panels. Again, um, the brackets are to be installed on spot. So as you can see, we have uh, little swivels here. Um, it's pretty easy to set up when the house is delivered. The panels are laying down flat on the roof, fixed with those screws. You unscrew them, you put the angle, so we have different lengths for those brackets. Uh, so depending on the time of the year, you put the, the proper brackets, you fix them right here, you're good to go. When you're moving the tiny house though, you need to unfold everything, secure that into a flat position, and then uh, you know leave location. One thing to consider though, the only time you should be on the roof is to set up solar panels or to verify if um, you know everything's good with the um, you know the general condition of the roof and also that little thing right here that is the rooftop vent so in winter time you te uh, technically you need to make sure this one is empty of snow for proper drainage inside the house if it's covered with snow it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to flush the toilet but you might hear a little noise when you're trying to flush because there's not enough air inside your system again not that big of a deal, but that's something to consider. If you're having trouble flushing, make sure that the little guy right here is empty of snow in winter time. As you might have noticed, um, the client decided to have a color change for some of the cabinets. Like now we have um, black bottom cabinets, black upper cabinets, and also black cabinets in the bedroom. This is some latitude we can have on the Nomad, even though we don't want to change the layout because it is engineered in a way that you can take the road uh, safely. Uh, so do want, we don't want to change uh, the balance and the weight too much, but then we can be a little, bit, a little bit flexible when it comes to color choices. A new feature in all the 2023 model, we changed the sink. That's a little upgrade, but it, do, it does make the difference. So the flat lip makes it easier to clean uh, and gives a more slick look, more modern style. Same thing for that uh, kitchen faucet. So again, little upgrades. When it comes to windows, we, were, uh, we upgraded from uh, half guillotine windows to full awning windows. Again, those can be opened uh, when it's raining. So it's really clever to have an airflow if you don't want to include air conditioning in that. Same thing here, big awning window on each side. And also we do have the same type of window in the bathroom. And same thing here in the master bedroom. So, but of course we do have that sliding window in the bottom here for uh, that egress window in case of an emergency. Um, I'm super impressed of how uh, Melanie came up with the decoration of that one. You know, that black mixed with um, that little golden brown uh, wood really gives a, a nice character to this model. And I think it's clever to have that right here. Really nice look. Again, really good job on decoration. Nothing really new in the bathroom. Actually, layout is the same. Uh, still have that uh, marble look, PVC panels in the shower. Uh, quite efficient. Didn't want to change too much uh, in there except for that awning window. Um, quick little features that we do uh, update it as well. New range hood, still 12 volt, more modern look. It's always better to improve that product over time. We also switched the uh, regular flat shelves for those shelves that have that um, edge um, on the surrounding to prevent stuff from falling. So you can put more stuff and also here we have little hanger for mugs. Uh, another thing we have here, a, an outlet that is um, hidden in the countertop. So again, never too much outlets in a tiny house. So we went a little uh, expeditive on that one because obviously there's four extra feet, a few upgrades in the 28 feet version of the Nomad. But again, uh, it's always good for you guys to understand the little differences between those models. We're coming out um, with a 30 feet gooseneck model. Um, it's actually completed right now. We're gonna have more information on the website. But regarding the 28 feet of uh, version of the Nomad, if you wanna know what is standard, uh, you can always refer to uh, the 24 feet version of the Nomad video we have on YouTube. It's gonna be uh, available at the end of this video right here. Uh, you're gonna see, you know, 
the general details, uh, capacity of water tanks, all that which is always exactly the same in the 28 feet version and also in the new upcoming gooseneck 30 feet version. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for that uh, 30 feet gooseneck model. Uh, reach out to us through the website if you have any more questions. So thanks you guys for watching. See you in the next video tour.